the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Some clouds developing in the White Rose City as we glance southeastward, but still a pretty blue sky. And we are going to see more of that through the afternoon, but clouds are going to start to thicken back up some later on this evening as our next storm system begins to move in. But it feels a bit better if you've been out and about so far today. High pressure briefly has taken over, but it's already moving away and it'll make way for our next storm system. Here's Super Doppler 8. We're seeing just a few of those clouds out there, but as we widen the scope, we can see a cold front slicing through the Ohio Valley. Already seeing a severe thunderstorm warning. It looks like out across far southwestern West Virginia, and this is going to be moving into the Commonwealth as we progress toward evening and eventually into the overnight, seeing those rain chances going back up. Most of us stay dry today, though, on the News 8 Storm Team forecast. High surge back up into the uh, lower to middle 80s. Still be sticky, but manageable humidity. Then overnight, we're expecting more widespread showers and rumbles. Some of those storms may be on the stronger side with temperatures in the middle to upper 60s. Then tomorrow, on the back side of that front, it'll be cooler with highs falling back into the middle and upper 70s. Still expecting some showers, especially earlier on in the day, in lesser chances progressing through the uh, afternoon. Temperatures now are back into the 80s in York and Gettysburg. It's 83 in Carlisle. Still hanging out in the upper 70s, though, from the capital city up through Lebanon. Dew points are not all that bad today. It is sticky and will still be sticky tomorrow, but I think by the evening it'll feel much better on Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday. A refreshing air mass taking over as we tap into some of that cooler, drier Canadian air. But today with the humidity and with some of that heating, we'll have higher instability and some organizational wind in the atmosphere as the storm system moves in. So that leads us to this marginal risk of severe weather, a one out of five on the risk scale, but it does mean a couple of storms could include some gusty wind and the tornado, th tornado threat. It's low, but not zero. Let's time out these storms here on predictor progressing through the remainder of the afternoon. Here's four o'clock getting closer to the evening commute still dry, but we can see this cold front moving in as we get past sundown and we're starting to see these showers and storms developing and I think even though the hail threats low, we may still see some small hail on the strongest of cores. All this moving eastbound, this is 8 o'clock, so we may have to deal with some showers out of the bus stop. But as we get through lunchtime and beyond, we're seeing some sunshine taking over behind the cold front, and it should be overall a nicer afternoon and evening tomorrow. Now, our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does show temperatures back into the middle 70s on Thursday, and we stay in the middle 70s Friday, a really nice end of the work week. We start to warm back up into the 80s over the weekend as clouds start to thicken up on a Sunday ahead of our next storm system, which could bring us a few showers on Monday, and it looks like we stay in the 70s as we head through the first half of next week. Meredith? 70s, 80s, you're still checking in your closet. Oh, yeah. To wear. <laughs> Thank you, TJ.